I'm Italy. On this episode of Learning in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make rosemary and garlic roasted potatoes. Here's what you need. Yukon gold potatoes, fresh garlic, fresh rosemary, salt, pepper, extra virgin olive oil, and granulated garlic. Okay, now this is my recipe for foolproof, crispy, delicious, salty potatoes. Okay, here's my tip. Actually, it's more of a, like a trick. Okay. Take my potatoes. Now, normally I would use medium to large potatoes, one per person. But these were kind. Of, I found these, and these were kind of small. So I'm gonna use five of these medium small guys. Okay, I'm gonna cut them into wedges like that. Nice big wedges. Okay, I'm gonna put them on a big plate. Okay. Now this is my um, my this is my way of making any kind of roasted potatoes to make sure that they get really super crispy on all sides and it really tastes like the rosemary and the garlic because sometimes I mean I've gone to restaurants where they've had you know rosemary garlic potatoes on the menu and number one they were never crispy and number two they didn't seem to have a lot of flavor for me so here's what I came up with what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these to these potatoes on a microwave safe plate and I'm gonna pop them in the microwave for about five minutes. Now it's not long enough to cook them, but it's long enough to get them warm all the way through so that when I toss them in my marinade, they're gonna soak it all up and it's gonna be so good. And also when you pop them in your oven, you pop them in a high heat and they already start to get crispy. Wait till you see these. I mean, these are unbelievable. What I've done is I've preheated my oven to 450 degrees and I've lined a baking sheet with some aluminum foil, just for easy cleanup. Now we're gonna start with the marinade. You take some garlic. Now normally, if I don't have, um, I bought the garlic already peeled in my grocery store, just because I couldn't find any really nice fresh garlic. Believe it or not, they were all with the green top sticking out, and that kind of means that they're old. So I'm gonna just cut them like that. And if they were already uh, peeled, I will leave them in their peel and then slice them because they get really crispy and caramelized that way and they're really good, really sweet. Popping everything into a large Ziploc bag. Now, I'm taking some of the rosemary, just stripping it off the stem. The stem on the rosemary is very tough, so you don't want to cut that. Okay. And fresh rosemary is very strong, so a little goes a long way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these two, I'm going to chop these two strips here, these two pieces, I'm going to chop them fine, and the, the other two pieces right here, I'm going to put, just put them on top of the potatoes while they're in the oven. Okay. Chop them up nice and small, because I want these to adhere to the potatoes. The warm potatoes, when they go into this marinade, I'm telling you, it is a marriage made in heaven the garlic and the rosemary and the olive oil it just it gets all soaked up by the warm potatoes and when you put them in the oven and you bake them they get really crispy they don't lose all that flavor they get kind of it's almost like a, you're eating a candy that never stops giving you flavor it's so good okay the rosemary is nicely chopped put that into my ziploc bag i love using these big ziploc bags because it's just, it's so easy and less clean up. Toss everything together. Put in a few tablespoons of olive oil. Some granulated garlic. I put the granulated garlic for more flavor. But if you don't have any, you can certainly just omit it. Don't, don't, don't even worry about it. If you have garlic powder or garlic salt, I would just, I wouldn't even bother. Okay. Put in some fresh cracked pepper. Right in your little bag. Actually, let me just show you. Open it up like that. It's nice and easy. See? Nice amount of black pepper. And some salt. Never under season your potatoes. Because they will come out tasting like nothing. Okay. And these two sprigs of fresh rosemary go in, mush this all together at the bottom of your pan, uh, at the bottom of your bag, and when you put your potatoes in here, you'll see, you'll see, 
Now one really important tip to get really good crispy potatoes all over. Take your baking sheet that you've lined with aluminum foil and put it in your oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. You want it really hot so when the potatoes hit it, they instantly start crisping up. That's my tip to really getting crispy potatoes all over. Trust me, it works. Okay, it's been five minutes. My potatoes are done and you can see they're not fully cooked. They're barely cooked, but they're nice and hot. Okay. Take all these and put them into our marinade. Now these, I'm gonna let these sit for about 10 minutes. I'm telling you, the more flavor they absorb, the better they'll come out. Seal it, making sure you get all the air out. That. Okay, now the fun begins. You wanna make sure you distribute this marinade all over your potatoes. Do this over a plate just in case the bag opens up. Look at that. See that? Everything is coated with the potatoes. Oh, this is going to be fabulous. I love rosemary roasted potatoes. Oh, I love any kind of roasted potatoes as long as it's crispy. I do not like a soggy potato. If I did, I would make baked potatoes or mashed potatoes. These are perfectly tossed. Okay, I'm just going to... Leave them like that. Ten minutes. Popping them in your oven. 450 after they've been marinating for ten minutes. 450. Close your oven door. And then I'll show I'll show you. I'll show you how these are gonna come out. I'll show you. She pans nice and hot. Okay. Just gonna spray it with some olive oil spraying just to ensure nothing sticks. Here we go. You can almost, you can hear, you can hear it sizzling already. You want to make sure your potatoes are like that. Distribute. Oh God, I can already smell them. As soon as they, they hit the hot pan, I can start to smell them. Okay. Just make sure that they're in a single layer. So they won't, they won't get crispy. They'll, get, they'll steam and get mushy, which is exactly what we don't want. Okay, now these are going to go into a 450 degree oven for at least 25 to 30 minutes. You want to make sure to keep your door shut at all times to keep the heat in the oven to crisp up the potatoes. But you're going to turn them once. So wait 15 minutes, flip them, put them back in the oven, shut the door. In they go. See you soon, buddy. My potatoes are out of the oven. They've been in there for 30 minutes exactly. 15 minutes on one side, 15 minutes on the other. And look at this. Look at that. I mean, does that not look like a crispy potato or what? Oh, I'm telling you, once you make your potatoes this way, you will never go back to any other way. I promise. Put them on a really nice plate. Like that. Oh, they look beautiful against the white of the platter. Oh, nice fresh sprig of rosemary. Right on the top. Look at that. Is that not perfect or what? And look. Come closer. Just look at this. Look how fluffy the inside is and how crispy the outside is. Mmm. Perfect. So good. I hope you guys have enjoyed spending time with me. To get this recipe and other recipes, go to my website at www.lauraneekitchen.com. You make these potatoes. You will love them. See you next time. Bye-bye.